You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. I'm joined this week by Jed Jones and Tanner Thornton from the West Bloomfield Unified Basketball Team. And thanks, guys, so much for being with me today. I thanks appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Appreciate thanks. it. Okay, so first of all, tell me what the Unified Basketball Team is. Uh, Unified Basketball is gives individuals with special needs an opportunity to um, compete athletically with their peers um, in, a general, in a general setting for them to um, uh, compete and enjoy being around each other and just have fun. It's it's an awesome experience for everybody on the, on the field. So. And to play basketball, right, Tanner? Yes, ma'am. All right, so tell me, uh, what grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade, so I'm a freshman this year. Okay, so you're a freshman, so tell me what you think of playing basketball. It's fun. I like having uh, my teammates there and all that, and I try to motivate them and all that. Oh, really? So yes. you're, you're out there trying to get yes. them all going, right? Yes. Okay, so tell me, so you're in ninth grade, yes. and tell me what your favorite sport is. That's hard, there's, there's a lot of sports I like. But my number one right now, I'll go with basketball. Okay, so tell me, Coach, a little bit about these games. Sure, at these games what happens is um, we play our JV basketball game first for our, our general education students, um, and then right after that we have a, a unified game that goes on between another school from Oakland County. Um, and our past game, who was our last game against? Groves. Groves mm -hmm. High School, we competed against Groves High School, and then Why? following that. Gross. That was a gross <laughs> game. Oh, yeah, All right. oh, okay. So following that, we play our varsity basketball game. So there's a lot of people in the stands for that, and it's it's an awesome experience. So, so uh, this is pretty new, right? Yep. This this is our first year in Oakland County that we're um, starting this. Uh, hoping it just grows from there. Uh, Novi High School and Brighton High School were two um, kind of figureheads for this, but it's put on by uh, Special Olympics. So. So tell me. Um, the difference it makes in everyone's lives not just not just like Tanner's life but <laughs> everyone's right yeah no no it, it's, it's amazing just um, just the doors that it's open for kids socially and, that, and that's really the biggest thing that's going on in our school it, it's just the acceptance and social acceptance that happens in our school Tanner feels free he can um, come up to anybody within our school and it's just awesome because he's made so many more friends with people that he never thought he would talk to in a, within a school setting. So it's just an awesome experience. So the games are a little bit different than regular basketball, right? Sure. Okay, so tell me about that. Um, at our games, um, Tanner, how many quarters do we play? Four. Four quarters, six minutes long. Um, within our game, we, we stop it at a three minute mark and do some substitutions. Um, that way everybody's get a free, uh, equal chance to play within the games. So. And this is co-ed teams, correct? Correct, we do have um, boys and girls on our team. Right now we probably have um, I would say 14 uh, special education students on our team that are paired with partners and we probably have um, those rotate a little bit from game in game out depending on what they have going on but we probably have a good 10 uh, peers that rotate through too. Okay so let's talk about the general education students sure. that are um, in these games as well. Tell mm -hmm. me what it means to them. Um, it, it's been so eye-opening for them too. It just we had a couple students who, who didn't think this was going to take off that much and said, you know, individuals uh, wouldn't really want to compete and somebody like Tanner would, might not want to compete in, the, in an experiment like this and just to see how uh, accepting it's been and just how eye-opening it's been for them is, is made it all worth it. They, they're like, man, Tan, Tanner really loves this and Tanner's really good at basketball. <laughs> yeah, I am. There's been a couple games where, you know, um, we've scored 30, 40 points in a couple games, and that's really, you know, a, a great mark for them to be able to hit, and uh, super excited to see how it keeps going from here. So Tanner, tell me how you feel after you're done playing, and tell me tell me how that is for you. I mean, I feel excited and all that, but like after the game, I'm like tired and all that a little. <laughs> right. Because I work hard and right. all that. Right, so tell me, uh, you said something off camera that you are really striving. The end of the season is coming up, so what are you striving for? Uh, to go in the NBA. Right, and but in this game, like your last home game is coming up. Yeah. And what do you really want to score? I want to at least score 24 because for Kobe and all that, to honor him and all that. Okay. So, Coach, you told me that uh, this is the initial season. It started off with bowling, yeah, right? Correct. La last year we um, kind of put our foot in the water, I guess you would say, uh, by starting out uh, with Unified Sports by going bowling. And that was more of like it's just a social um, interaction time for kids to um, – compete athletically a little bit, but also get that social aspect and uh, interact with kids outside of school socially. And it, from there, it turned into basketball. Our AD at the high school, Eric Pierce, really helped out in creating the schedule for us this year and really helped develop our team. And um, you know, when I was kind of hesitant about it, he, he said, let's just do this. Let's, let's go at it, Jed, and we'll go at it, and we'll ha make it happen. And um, I appreciate him for really pushing us into this, and it's been a great, great opportunity for our kids. So. Okay, so uh, the last home game coming up, and then there'll be a tournament, you said? Correct. On February 22nd at Troy High School, we're going to uh, ha have a tournament uh, between 10, 10 schools, so there's 
about 10 to 12 schools that are competing in Oakland County right now. Um, and we're going to play two games at this tournament on that day, and then we're going to have a celebration afterwards. So. That's awesome. And it's, then, so once this is over, bowling will start again. Yep, in the spring again this year, we're going we're gonna to try bowling again and see how that goes. And uh, hopefully we get a couple more links that come in and help out with those types of things and really build on those interactions. And if we can make it to a point that we're competing against other schools again, that's awesome. If not, we're going to keep going with how we do it and um, just keep pushing acceptance within our school and in the social and athletic setting. Okay, so just tell me real quick, what has this process meant to you as a coach? Um, for me, it's just it's awesome to see the kids outside of um, the classroom, it, just to see how much they have um, want to participate and want to do something that, that's just different and it's hard. It's a, fun thing for me because I love sports um, and being able to have these kids take part in something that I love and is very passionate about is just awesome. It gives us an area to relate and it's um, a great thing for them. Okay, so last home game coming up. Uh, anybody can come? Anybody's welcome to come. Um, there is an admission fee to get in because like a, it is at the um, varsity basketball game, so it is at the high school setting. Um, within that, so it's a $5 fee to get in. Um, to the, to the gymnasium to see this uh, game. So there is a JV game, then a unified game, then a varsity game afterwards, but the one price gets you into all three games. So. Okay, perfect, thank you. Well, Tanner, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for being here, and thank good luck you. with that three-pointer. I hope you score it on Me Thursday, too. okay? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and, and thank you too, Coach. Thank you, yes. Uh, once again, we've been joined by Jed Jones and Tanner Thornton. Thanks for watching this segment of The Splash. To watch the entire show or other segments, catch us on Comcast Channel 15 and at and Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us every week on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM.